Well, welcome back to Morning Breaking. The Savannah Film Alliance is made up of people in and those interested in the film industry in the Coastal Empire's growing role in it. They have one of their quarterly meetings coming up tonight and already making plans for their year-end honors gala. Charles Bowen, the Savannah Entertainment Lawyer and the President of the Savannah Film Alliance, is here this morning with a look at how film projects and the Alliance have really come back so strongly since a bit of a dip during the pandemic. Uh, good morning to you, and it's great to see all the activity going on here in town, isn't it? No, absolutely. Good morning, Tim. <laughs> so the, you know, absolutely, and it wasn't just a local phenomenon, but worldwide. Right entertainment industry really just crashed during COVID, but came back strong, took Savannah a little bit longer because, you know, we don't have sound stages here where they could implement right. kind of COVID protocols, that type of thing. You had to kind of learn how to do that on location. But once they learned, they mastered it. And then last year, Savannah had by far the greatest year they had ever had for the entertainment industry, almost double the previous record. That, I find that amazing because <laughs> it had been so strong up until 2019. And to find out that we're double what you know was the high point before is fascinating. Yeah, almost half a billion dollars in revenue. So. And of course, uh, the Alliance is, is growing as well. You're up to 500 members now. Yeah, and the Alliance is great. So it's just kind of a grassroots organization that anyone can get involved in, whether you're in the industry, interested in the industry, would like to you know, provide some support to the industry open to anyone that would like to just you can go to savannahfilmalliance.org and sign up and you'll get on the email list and then everyone is welcome to the meetings. Yeah, that, that's what's so great about it is, you know, a lot of people think, oh, it's impossible to be in any way associated with the film industry unless you're an actor, a producer, or a camera person. But this is a, really, the general public is not only welcome to join the Alliance, but welcome to come to your meetings. Oh, absolutely. So we have a meeting this evening from four to six at Savannah Tech at Eckberg Auditorium. Really appreciate Savannah Tech allowing yeah. us to do that. That's a very nice of them. Uh, very much a, a valued local partner for the Alliance. But uh, yeah, and the, we'll learn about, we always have people like the film office will come in and give us an update on what's going on. And many people from various parts of the industry kind of giving updates. But the main focus of the meeting is not just to stay informed, but it's also to talk about are there any challenges facing the industry? And, and what can we do from all these various backgrounds and all, having all these various talents, what can we do to pull together and work together to meet those challenges and keep that industry right. growing? Always looking forward. I mean, not even being satisfied with the, you know, double growth. Uh, you know, there's always possibility to do more here, right? Absolutely, for sure. All right, and one of the things you're doing more of is you're getting back to a really great way that you end the year with the Alliance, the Honors Gala coming up in November, but you're already starting to plan this. Oh, I'm very excited about that. So this year, we did it in 2019 and then COVID shut it right. down for a while, but we're coming back this year and it's gonna be presented by IATSE Local 491. So IATSE is the labor union that represents okay. all of the crew on movie and television productions. And so they've come out and to support this in a big way. And the, pr the idea behind it is not to do, you know, your standard award show where you get your best actor and your best movie. Instead, it's to find those local people that have really kind of dedicated their lives to building this industry here. Those people that maybe behind the scenes that, that aren't recognized, but like we want to be able to show them our appreciation yeah. for what they've done. Because in a large way, those are the people who have are really responsible for the growth here because if we were not so accommodating to this industry, it would not be coming back as often as it does. No, th that's for certain. And, and, but not only that, I mean, you know, it, of course it's exciting to be able to honor those people, but it's also a night of real yeah. fun. <laughs> so, you know, there'll be live entertainment. It's actually going to be hosted this year by an actor from the show Breaking Bad. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know if you watch that show, but the DE agent, Steve okay. Gomi Gomez, uh, <laughs> he, he is uh, going to be, he's actually a stand-up comedian, and he's going to come host the gala this, wow. this year so excited about that but anybody interested uh, tickets are on sale at the website savannahfemalliance.org just click on the little gala link there and it'll give you all the information and about it'll it. be a black tie event with a red carpet all kinds of cool oh. stuff that you expect from uh, from an award show uh, absolutely uh, of, of it will and, and the, it's the theme is going to be visionary vanguards it'll be kind of a modern take on hollywood right. and so right inviting people to be as creative as they like. Now, I know you're limiting it to about 300 people. Uh, let folks know one more time where they can get their tickets. SavannahFilmAlliance.org. All the information is there. And they can do that now. Absolutely. All right. Charles, so great to see you. Great Appreciate to see you, it. Tim. So, taking to the sky to celebrate a century of life. After the break, we will...